Yeah, this is Maximus here. Don't talk about Metrinch tools very much, but they're actually still around. Small time name. Their quote unquote claim to fame was in their name, Metrinch, which is supposed tools that work with both fractional or inch size SAE as well as metric millimeters. And even though they're still around, their tools are kind of ill fated. Many sizes, such as 3 quarter inch and 19 millimeter, 9 sixteenths and 14 millimeter, also are all really close and they fit pretty tight or, and are interchangeable with each other already. Other sizes, such as 3 eighths or 10 millimeter, are not because 3 eighths of an inch is 9.5 millimeter. Metrinch tries to make tools that fit both sizes, but in the case of 10 millimeter or three eighths, they're gonna, their wrench is gonna have to f be big enough to fit a 10 millimeter bolt head. You're not putting a square peg in a round hole. So it only grabs onto the very tips of the corners of three eighths. So, and that's always been the, the negative comments about Metrinch is just that fact. Uh, certain metric sizes don't have very good corresponding inch sizes when you're only working with sixteenths of an inch. If you have a thirty seconds of an inch socket set, you actually don't even need metric. Anyway, that's where the metric name came from. That's what they do, and to tell you the truth, you're much better off having properly fit sockets, metric, and SAE sets. This happens to be the ratchet. It's not too bad, and that's why I want to do a little video. No country of origin on it. I assume it's a Taiwanese made. Of course, it says chrome vanadium, Metrinch. Not a whole lot else. People familiar with some of my older videos are aware of Eastco and Eastco built Craftsman's, and they have this very distinctive, they're kind of a Batwing Paul style, but what makes them dis distinctive is a double, they have a retaining clip for the reverse lever, as well as for the anvil, but the, what makes the East Coast style, and this is just a knockoff the East Coast, is the fact that the, it has this separate ring here. Rather than a bottom plate, it's just a ring that that clip holds onto. Anvil isn't super tight, but it's not too bad on this wrench. Certainly works plenty well enough. This is, you know, if they're gonna copy a coarse tooth, this is like a 32 or a 36 tooth East Coast. Um, they are pretty reliable. I was looking at this. This is not exactly like an East Cove just because like the reverse switch here is a little bit flatter. But I thought, God, that looks really distinctive, particularly this flat reverse switch. Digging through my ratchets, I found this ratchet, which is a popular mechanics ratchet. And turns out it appears to be, the, especially by the switch design, the same manufacturer that Metrich is sourcing their ratchets from is also who Popular Mechanics is, right down to the you know chrome-plated retaining ring. Anyway, that's the deal. Like the Popular Mechanics, it has a pretty strong quick release here. Let me rotate this up. Pretty strong. Good ball protrusion here. So it will and does hold on the sockets pretty well. Pretty small hole, so you're, they're not uh, sacrificing an anvil strength too much. Of course, getting these little clips out of here is always a bit of an adventure. It's usually a two-handed operation because it is recessed. I gotta kind of get one side in like that. Whoop. And just was able to pop it out. It's harder to get it out than it is to actually get back in. Here's the retaining ring with just a little cutout for the clip. And then here's our little anvil. And we can see the two tooth paw in there. Still worked pretty good, but it definitely needed a little bit of a cleanup here. And, uh, of course, some real light lube. I don't do too much on cleaning up these old ratchets, you know. We've got so many ratchets, and these usually aren't ones I use very much, so I just do a light little cleanup. Once again, ultimately coarse teeth, but they are pr pretty strong, and I do like that the Paul has two tooth engagement, so it makes it fairly robust. Pop that back together. So not a lot else to say about the Metrich ratchets. 
not a big fan of their uh, socket tree, but if you run into a, an old Metrids ratchet somewhere and it's only a couple bucks, I'd say it's not too bad. One thing I was noticing though, is if we look, I think the Popular Mechanics is a finer tooth. That has pretty coarse teeth. Yeah, I think this Popular Mechanics has just a bit finer teeth in it. Maybe it's like a 40 or 48 tooth. But besides that, you know, if you have a really terrible ratchet, it would be a nice little upgrade. And if you have a decent ratchet, this would just be a nice spare, extra, throw in the car, throw in the junkyard toolbox, throw in the uh, loaner toolbox, that type of thing. My opinion on the Metrin 3 8 ratchet. Anyway, really appreciate everybody's been watching. See you next time.